This was one of the first spots I took Ruben to when we began filming for Grounded Video. I remember his brain going into overdrive as he started to think of all the things he could do there. Right away he started getting his back tire slashing up there and pretty soon he had both wheels up there and then he started talking about some crazy pocket air idea he had. Is it seriously? It's so perfect. This is pretty insane, he did this in one try and yeah, I actually shot a photo at the same time with the cameras on tripods just to get a safe shot. We thought we pretty much got the last trick of his video part right there, but his brain was already thinking ahead of other things he could do there. Yeah, we saw cool. that. We seen that. We seen that on camera. That shit was dope. That's proper. Prop. Come for red. Have a good day. Bye, guys. I wasn't really sure what he was trying to explain he wanted to do. I just kind of went along with it. And even while we we're building this massive landing bank, it seemed kind of weird to build such a big bank for a spot, but um, you know. The, setup was pretty unique so we figured it was worth it. So we hauled this big load of wood down there and we started setting it up and it started to make more sense when I could see it but then we didn't calculate this car would be in the in the way of the approach. Kind of just enough to mess him up but like we thought it was far enough back that you could swerve around it and still get your line up but um, kind of sent him up the wall but not enough sideways momentum he didn't get enough car to carve across it so it's pretty much right at the peak he just fell right down and then on the second try that day same same fall but this time he landed on his heel on the curb that's on the edge of the footpath so that kind of took him out for a few weeks We tried to go to the spot every time he was in California, but every time we went, the same cars were parked in the way. So until it came down to crunch time, we had about a week before the deadline to finish filming for the video. And so uh, Ruben actually noticed one day that the car was for sale. So he called the owner and the owner was kind enough to move it. So we pretty much had one more day, the last day before Ruben was going to go back to Spain to set it up and do it. Now the trick itself is crazy enough, but uh, the actual whole setup of it is what makes the thing so insane. Um, he has to take the run up from these traffic lights, which is where we mark the X on this little drawing, and pretty much has to time it so he anticipates leaving before the lights turn, so he has that window of clear on the main road before the cars on the side street come up behind him. I mean, it looks completely insane to anyone passing by, but it was a pretty well calculated risk, so kind of knew what he was doing. The first try that day didn't go so good, but he managed to get out of it alright. He chased pretty hard and somehow just got a slight scratch on his elbow. The bike didn't do so good after all that, but uh, luckily Pova was around. He switched out his back wheel for Rubens and then the rain came just to make it even more painful so Ruben had to wait around a little while longer uh, wait for the rain to dry up and get his mind into gear and then he nailed it pretty much the second try was, was the golden one. Dude, I never put it that fast. Seriously my, my worst thing was coming out of the ground. Ah. Yeah Ruben was telling me afterwards that he was pretty much uh, pedaling as fast as he's ever pedaled in his life and then he knew he had it because suddenly he pedaled just that bit further and it was enough to get him up and over that thing. So, I have to say it was one of the more insane things I've ever filmed. I think it's awesome. Totally incredible. It's the best, bro. Keep it up, man. Thanks. Yeah. Right, it's pretty perfect, right? <laughs> Dude, you gotta go. Oh, that was insane, Ruben. That was a crazy feeling there. Oh, man.